Alright guys, welcome back. We are now on part 2 of AM2R, or another Metroid 2 remake. So when we last left off, we had picked up a, uh, we had killed a couple Metroids, picked up Wave Beam, uh, got some missiles, and some energy tanks, and Baria suit, and now we're fighting Arrakis. Who you might remember from Metroid Fusion. But the thing of it is, Arachnus originally appeared in uh, Metroid 2. He was the Spring Ball Guardian. Though the fight is significantly different than how it went in Metroid 2. In Metroid 2, you could just sit there and blast him with missiles until he eventually died. Here, you have to blast him until you piss him off enough. To get him into morph ball, or to get him to roll up into a ball, and then you need to bomb jump him into the spikes on the ceiling or on the walls. And you do this three times. Every time he gets hit with a bomb, he jump, he gets knocked higher and higher until eventually he gets spiked to death. And now we have Spring Ball, and we can jump in Morph Ball form. He's getting around significantly easier. Now, one other thing that AM2R does that the original Metroid 2 does not do is it does beam combine. Um, the original Metroid 2 uh, was the first game to feature both Spazer and Plasma Beam, but did not have beam combinations. It just had the... Uh, you could pick each one. Uh, there were two ice beams and then one of each of the other three available in the game. And you could pick each one, and then there was an ice beam available in the final area in case you had a different beam at the time. Because in the final area, you actually face classic Metroids, which can only be killed by the original method of freezing and then pumping five missiles into them. So. Now, as this is still a... this is basically a demo of the game, because the game's technically still in beta, um, it is not the full game. As far as I'm aware, it goes to at least Sector 4. We're getting KP smart alphas. There we go. Alright, nothing over here. Alright, we still have three Metroids left to find, so let's go on over to our next area. Hmm, a suspiciously placed high jump accessible only area. Well, actually you can bomb jump your way up there, but it's a lot easier with high jump. Because of course. And we've got more bring rounds. And there's a Metroid coming up. And holy crap, this area is huge. And precariously platform. bad. <laughs> Further into the depths we go. Yeah. There's an item here. And this is why we have Spider Ball. And, oh, that was bad. 
One thing to be careful about spider ball is that holding a direction will keep you going in that direction, and you can regard will keep you moving rather in the way that you were going, whether or not you're actually making sense. So, for example, if I go spider ball and I hold right and then roll down to left, I'm holding left right now, and I'm still moving right because yeah. It's what lets Spider Ball go uh, around corners without having to change which direction you're holding. But you have to be careful about it because if you stop, then you uh, hit, a hit the direction you were going again, you resume going in that particular direction. Uh, and I'll demonstrate it in just a second. Once we kill the Metroid in this area. Come on. So, time to demonstrate the quirks of, of uh, Spider Ball. I am holding right. As you notice, I am going in, a in all the directions. Um, so, now I let go, and I hit right again. Oh look, I reversed direction because I started on the bottom instead of on the top. So, it's something to keep in mind with Spring Ball. The original Metroid 2 was the same way when it came to how Spider Ball worked. I said Spring Ball a couple times there, didn't I? Oh. Okay. Alright, so anyway. Um, now that the demonstration is over with, let's go ahead and get back to killing Metroids. Because there's only one left in the area. Oh look, enemy spawner tube with no enemies. I wonder if the Metroid's in here. Oh, there's the Alpha. Wow, his legs are really developed. Metroids are done. Why isn't the Earth shaking? Oh! Because I missed one. And it got bigger. <laughs> Need a gamma! Yeah. Gammas are bigger and nastier than alphas. They take ten missiles instead of five. They have that really nasty little electricity attack which blocks missiles, and their legs usually block your shots as well. And they're smarter than alphas, they know to protect their belly. And they tend to dodge head-on shots unless they're firing their little electricity thing. Alright, so... Now we have killed all the Metroids in the area. And now that we have fought one Gamma, you can expect to encounter more later on. Now the funny thing is, you can actually run right past the Gamma and go back to the save station to restock before you actually go and fight the thing, but nah, I had more than enough health and ammo at the time.
go back to the right, but let's go ahead and check up top just to see if there are any other items that I might have missed. I don't think so. No, I think this just takes me to that one Metroid that I fought earlier. Yep, okay. We're done here. Further plumb the depths. Can't go that way. Now, there is an item somewhere in here. I have no idea where it is. I bombed every bomb or every block in this area. Oh. Well, there we go. Alright. I have no idea what I'm talking about now. Ten Metroids. Holy crap, that's a lot. Alright, well, we are now in Sector 3. And we're gonna be getting super missiles. And Speed Booster, which, neither one of which were in the original Metroid 2. Brand new content, pretty much. area, the way it just breaks away. Metroid 2 was the original appearance of Space Jump. Oh crap. Really? In case you're wondering, no. Torizos did not appear in the original Metroid 2. But, um, let's go ahead and actually take a look at a Torizo. Okay. Alright, cool, let's get. Let's get out of here. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Well, we ain't going on the ground. Come on, get over here. Good thing there's midair respin in this game. It's dead. Well, that was fun. And now we have Space Jump, which almost completely eliminates the need for to ever use Spider Ball again. We're still going to need it for a couple areas, but it is pretty much obsolete at this point. Because we can essentially fly wherever we want to go now. If there are any hidden items up here. Uh, something about the industrial complex. And it does not appear to be anything. Oh, it's down here. An item down here. Oh, that's it. Okay, I will accept, and the save point. And a gamma! Okay, screw you, gamma. Yeah, two can do that flying thing. the other way, see where that leads us. Nah, yeah, on my way. Hmm. No. Looks like we're gonna be getting speed booster in just a few moments. So, Speed Booster works just like it does in uh, Zero Mission and uh, Zero Mission Fusion and Other End, you just run. Oh, that's right. Time to need to break these walls with missiles. And like in Zero Mission and Other M, you can recharge your Shine Spark by running into a slope. Better not waste my 
my missiles, I kinda need them to kill my toys. Missile pack refills all your missiles. That definitely is not in the original. Yeah, these things are invulnerable, you can't hurt them. Because it's a gamma. Great. It's not a very smart gamma, actually. But he probably fried a brain. Back into 
to the drink I go. And, well, at least I only lost one thing that time. Alright, so what's this way? Up there. Hmm. hmm, I need super missiles. Oh, this looks fun. How convenient, super missiles. Holding down the A button charges the jump and makes them jump higher and farther. That other platform that we passed earlier is another super missile required. So let's go ahead and just chuck another one over there. You can't touch the crushers at all, or else they will blow up our little buddy. We can't blow up the little buddy until after we blow up the ground. Got him anyway. Ow. I kinda need a health refill, like right now. how you get back, in case you were wondering. Alright, where is the nearest save? Um... Oh crap! And all my super missiles.
missile attack. Do a missile attack. Finish exploring Sector 3 and exterminate the remaining Metroids. So see you guys in a little bit. 